Mike, mate, uh, finally met your pal. It's been a while. Uh, I've been waiting to say, meet you here at Old Trafford after what you've been through personally. Yeah. You've been dying to come on the show. You're here, mate, but today we didn't have the performance we wanted from the Reds, but it's quite normal now, isn't it, mate? It's, it's a sad state of affairs. It's standard. It's, it's, what, it's like you expect to see it, and that's a bad thing. It's like I've been coming since 1990 regularly, and I think we've been fed too much of a good thing and it's only now that you know we're realizing that the team isn't what it is there's a hell of a lot of um dead wood that needs to be shipped out of the club and also phil jones one of the matches must malign two years since the game against the 22nd of january against Cranmere in the fa cup he's like he played with passion he you know he's we took the mic out of him before the game and that during the game we were singing his you know he, he, he was up for it. He his man in the match. He was him and De Gea were the only two players I thought that wanted it. And as you can see the disconnect between the defence and the midfield and the slowness, the sideways passing. I didn't even um, realise that McTominay was playing. He was he just as a uh, as I said, he was just only there uh, visible because of how bad he was. Yeah. And that midfield is. The big issue, mate. Is it is it going to take a January signing to change this up? Because, or is there anyone else at this club, Hogba or Donny Van der Beek, for you, Mike, that can come in and help this midfield? I, we're losing that battle every week, mate. Now, and it's it's getting it's getting tedious. It's because in it's causing us a massive problem, and without it, we ain't got no chance of getting top four, have we? No. To me, Pob was gone. He he went two years ago. If COVID hadn't fit, he'd have been away yeah. with his money in there. Is Mina Riola. So to me, he's gone, and also I believe Donny. I think it was a third choice signing. I think the main signing, if uh, Pogba had gone, it would have been Jack Grealish, and, uh, and then possibly James Madison. And Donny's like the the man that they don't want. I can honestly see him leaving to go to possibly Everton or maybe Newcastle. With then you you talk about people leaving, Marshall. You know, I think he'd have he it was a game for him tonight, but obviously he's not playing because he's going. And also um, Donny. It was Donny could have unlocked that midfield. He's literally took a pass in, but you could tell when Bruno came on, they started playing. But why do we need to go? As always, we're up, we seem to like to um, come from behind and win. It's or try and win. It's too predictable. There's no fear factor for opposition teams anymore at Old Trafford. We're we're a joke. And Ralph, you can't say oh it's, it's not working. You got to give him charm. You know, I was supposed to say you can't make a, sal a per silk purse out of a sal you know, sal's ear. He's going to take time, he's going to have to weed out the Deadwood and implement his ways. It's I mean, a sorry, on that there, mate, you mentioned Deadwood. A lot of people would have Phil Jones in that category, but tonight the Deadwood's shown up the first team in a way. Is that, is that a fair assessment? <laughs> Phil Jones has literally risen from the dead. <laughs> I believe, I know it sounds mad, you can call me, call me daft, but... He could be our answer in midfield. I'm mean, not midfield. Sorry, well, he did, did used to play midfield in defence with Varane. He looked solid. He was just all over the place, and I could imagine what Mark's uh, thoughts were when he saw Phil Jones on the team sheet. I bet he went Phil Jones, pink boots, and all that. But uh, hi, Mark. Um, yeah, I think Phil Jones should stay in unless he gets injured in training. But, but fingers crossed, he doesn't. That's it, mate. Is it a shout that Phil Jones with a decent centre-back partner is a different player? Because if we break it down, you look back on Phil Jones' time, mate, it has been stop, start, mixed stop, up start. with different players. It's been mixed up with average centre-backs next to him. Well, he's well. never had a solid partnership. You look at Vidic and Fernand, going back to when I started watching Steve Bruce and uh, Pallister. It's, you know, it's, we've just not had a solid back far. And like today, wan -Bissaka. When Bruno came on, it was as if uh, Bruno, you could tell he wouldn't pass to wan It's as if they don't trust him. And talking of like cliques in the changing room, I believe there's a clique going on. Ralph needs to sort that out. The, you know, if they don't like his way, they're out. Whoever you are, however big you are, you're gone. I mean, changes for the Aston Villa game in the FA Cup. The FA Cup could become pivotal for the season now. I mean, we need something this season. The fan base needs something. Can you see a lot of changes for the next uh, next Monday night against Villa here at home? I mean, because we can't afford to fall out no. of the FA Cup now. The fan base is really going to start to turn. The players have got nowhere to hide now. Is it time we've seen a few other players get a chance? Yeah, like Langer and Teddy Menge. 
Um, I don't know why um, Ethan Ladd has gone back from Swansea straight to loan to Bournemouth. He could have been thrown in and like, what's happened to Ahmed? Why well, paid all that money for Ahmed and Palestri when we could have bought, I think it was Jaden Sancho for the similar sort of money when they did. It's just typical Glazier penny pinching. Nothing's going to change with this club until the Glaziers have gone or sold up or whatever. It's rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. If the new manager comes in, they'll give him some money. And then after for the first year, second year, they start to go off the rails a bit, and if, so, end up maybe end of year, second year, third year, it's that. You can't keep repeating that. Yeah. That's what the Glaciers are hoping for. But now they've been exposed through Solskjaer. I love Solskjaer as a player, but it was sadly out of his death as a manager. Mate, it's been a pleasure having you on the show finally, mate. Uh, I'm meeting you. Uh, before you go, give me a man of the match, mate. Phil Jones, man of the match. Phil is back. Mike, cheers for coming on, mate. Thank you.